Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another video. I firstly wanna start by saying thank you to all my new subscribers. I didn't expect to get this many subscribers so quick, so I, I do really appreciate it guys, thank you. Thanks for all the thumbs up. Thanks for the support man, it means a lot. So, today, we're doing a little stealth camp. So, behind me just here is a public field. Um, I've just seen a dog walker go on at the minute, so, I don't want to go over there just yet because obviously she's seen me with my bag and that. Um, I did I, I did speak to her. Um, obviously I didn't tell her what I'm doing um, or what my intentions are. But obviously she's gone to walk a dog at the minute. So I'm just going to lurk around a bit and then when she goes I'll, I'll bring you guys back. So we're going this way, but just for now I'm going to go this way, just because like I said there is quite a lot of people still, school kids coming back from school and that, so I'm going to take you on the field now, um, so there's a bit of woodlands here that we're going to be staying in, um, but like I say we need to wait a bit, yeah, sunset is meant to be at 4.30pm, so we're just going to wait a little bit, but yeah this is the... Uh, Ooh, this is the field. It's quite a massive field to be honest. Could actually go over there, but I don't want to. It's very exposed, but you know what I mean. It is out of the way, but like I say, you do get dog walkers coming around here. There's there's two over there actually now. You probably can't see it. Can you see them? Yeah, you can see them. But yeah, there's. See what I mean? We've we've just got to wait a bit because there's all little gaps in the fence which lead the other side so I don't want any to see me putting my tent up like what are you doing <laughs> so I just need to wait <gasps> alright guys I've just come back on the other field just for a bit um, just because there's some benches here that I can chill out but isn't it a shame when you know what I mean kids have to burn the bench and spray on it and like, why why you gotta do that if you want to spray paint go and spray paint your bedroom wall or something Guess who's back? Back again. Tom is back. But we're going in left. Ugh. Oh, someone down there, man. He's walking away from me. He is walking away, so. Hopefully, we should, the coast should be clear. I'll have a look. Have a little goosey gander around here then, shall we? Not trip up in the process. 
so there's the field guys so this here is a sort of like a walkway leads to civilization but it's quite a big little wooded area here um, again I have camped here before and there's a, there's a lot of like dead uh, dead wood in that there's a fallen tree over there as well all that firewood meat we're not having a fire today maybe in the future some kids pink broken toy everywhere there's a wheel but yeah it's quite cool isn't it now it's autumn all the colorful yellow leaves are falling around us so majestic majestical majestical <laughs> I'm just going to keep walking over I'll bring you to the spot I think there's someone over there Oh no, it's a squirrel It's a squirrel We're all good So One of the best ways to tell If there is still like people around is look for wildlife, look for birds especially. When you're walking past, if a bird flies off, you know that no one hasn't been there sort of within the last at least five to 10 minutes. So, but the only issue is I've, I haven't seen any birds fly off, so. I think there's defo gonna still be people on this field. But again, there's different access points to, to get onto it, so. So just over there, that's some allotments. It is, it is quite a quite a big wooded area. Um, it's not very wide. Yeah, so here's some allotments over there. Um, there's also rabbit um, rabbits um, with the burrows around here as well. Look, oh, there's there's the allotments, guys. There's some guys greenhouse over there. Oh. Saucy. Just gotta not stamp on all the sticks. That's how you'd be really not stealthy at all, is it? I don't think anyone's around here to be honest. But there's the field. So there's this metal fence and then there's a little like walkway path and then there's another metal fence behind it and then there's the field. But like I said there is little cut throughs uh, every every so often. Um, there is one up here actually where I'm, where I'm staying, so let's hope no one comes through in a bit. Look, here's one of the um, one of the rabbit burrows, or I think they're called burrows. It's not a nest, I know that. I'm not a complete dumbass. But yeah, go on now. Nearly at the spot now, guys. It's a lot clearer here as you can see but it's very um it's all stones and stuff so there's another rabbit burrow there's a better view of the they have the up come in a bit ooh Derek's growing his vegetables I'm not heating on anyone that has an allotment, by the way. Good on you if you do. I think for me, I just, I'd get too lazy and everything would die. Won't be asked going up watering every day. Oh yes, we have arrived. Camp Metal Gate. That's what I'm gonna call it. So here we are. Tent will go here. It's uh, out of the way. Obviously, you can't come in from there. It's all bushes and that. It would actually be cool to get a bivy bag and just go right in there. There's the allotment. It's still quite green because, again, we've had a late autumn. Um, but yeah, look. Here's one of the uh, here's one of the gaps in the fence. I can't see anyone or hear anyone. Um, it's about five past four now guys so sunset is 
in about 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill out here for about a good 10 minutes and then I'll bring you back. What was that? Slow already, guys. Right guys that's all the tent set up now i'm not going to bother with the guy lines because it, it's not going to be i'm not going to be blown away am i i'm not up some mountain so that'll do for me i'm gonna get all my other stuff blown up and that and then i'll bring you guys back
Right guys, so this is my new sleeping bag. It's the OEX Leviathan EV900. It looks very warm. It go, the comfort rating is, I think it's minus nine. So it's a, it's a bit of an upgrade from the Van Gogh. Two to three seasons. Um, it's down, so it obviously packs down really small. It's going to be massive soon. I need to let it expand a little bit. So, get that out of the way. And then I had to get a new um, ear mat as well because, like I say, it's getting more towards winter now. So, it's starting to get a bit chilly, especially when I was at the quarry. It was, it was really cold. So, but yeah, we've got the OEX Traverse XL. XL5, uh, the R value is 4.6, so we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm a warm sleeper um, on the on the rating scale, so it should be perfect really, but only time will tell, so I'll get all set up and then um, I'll bring you guys back. Woohoo! Right guys, that's us all set up. That feels amazing, that material, I must say. This is massive. The the pad. I mean, it. I mean, I guess it's in the name XL. Duh. But um, it's it's huge. It's not as thick as my inflatable one. Um, but we'll see how it does. Loads of room in this tent. In the service XL. Put my bag there later. So yeah. Show you all my food and stuff. Right, guys, I'll show you my amazing food now, or maybe it's not so amazing. <laughs> so We've got the Singapore Cardi egg noodles for tea. Just like a rip-off naked noodle thing from Audi. Just some water in that. And then maybe later some chicken ramen noodle soup. Um, then we got a bueno for later because they're amazing why not and then we've got two tiger cobs which I've squashed down who who loved that when the mum used to pack them lunch at school and they used to like used to be like mum squash my sandwiches is that just me am I, am I just weird but I don't know tastes better like that anyway I'm waffling um, the reason I compacted them is just so it's better on storage and that so I'm gonna have one of them with that if I if I do decide to have that and then we've got some backed beans for brekkie with another one of them and that's about it no alcohol we've got the replacement instead no guys it's not anything bad it's a moxicillin 500 grams because I've got a bit of a blocked here and a uh, just recovering off a chest infection so fun times Might as well pop this tablet, am I? Get it out of the way with. <sighs> Gotta take them for like four days. Three a day. Just get rid of this like flipping wheezing in my chest. But the thing is that don't really concern me because I'm I'm getting over it now. It, I, I was had it the quarry quite bad um, but the thing is like the, the day after my ear just uh, like, I couldn't really hear it out of one ear and that does slightly worry me because you know if that happens in like the obviously the other one like you won't really be able to hear it so that made me go to the doctor so yeah I had to flip in buy all that stuff so come to 19 quid UK's a joke and, 
I had to get an inhaler and a thing for 19 quid. I don't know. I'm just going to chill here for a little bit. I'm going to give me tablet like 30 minutes to kick in and then I think me will get some food on. Right guys, so I've actually brought a cigar with me. Ooh, fancy. I'm not really a cigar smoke to be honest, but um, I bought a few when I when I come back off holiday, so I, I have tried it before. Um, I don't know, it's quite nice. I forgot what the name is. If I remember, I'll I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, it's like a vanilla, um, like a vanillary taste to it, which is quite nice. From what I can remember, anyway. So uh, we'll get it lit up. It smells like, like like strong, but like vanillary as well. It's nice. I'm not a cuss. Uh, I'm not a cigar connoisseur or anything like that. But I think you're just supposed to get the um, tobacco aroma in your mouth and taste it a bit. You're not supposed to inhale it. I don't think. Let me guy. Let let me know if if you any of you guys know if you like your cigars and that. Oh shit. I should have inhaled that. Before you start going, oh, you shouldn't be doing that, you've got a chest infection. Me, just let me do what I want to do, okay? I'm just sat here bored, it's passing time, and like I say, my chest's not really that bad anymore, but it's my body, isn't it, at the end of the day, guys? You're only young once, so enjoy it. Oh, that's enough of that, I've had enough. I don't think they're really my thing to be honest but I just bought some from when I went on holiday because I never had any before probably shouldn't chop this when it's still on but there you go got a little stumpy for whenever I feel like having that or just lobbing it I don't know is it worth saving that guys I don't know I don't I know nothing about cigars at all. <laughs> right guys, it's now 20 past 7. It's got a little bit chillier now. I just popped my hat on and look like an idiot. I look like a miner or something. I don't know. I'm not calling miners idiots, by the way. Just look like a muppet. So, I'm feeling a little bit hungry. So, I'm going to get this thing on. So, yeah. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Right. Oh. Alright, so how much water do we need? 260 mil. So a little tip with these goes with like pot noodles and things like that because it's obviously got powder in make sure before obviously you just open it and don't just open it and put water in tip it upside down like this shake it because then all that seasoning is going to go to the top and then flip it around quick and then all the seasoning stays on top when you put the water in there's tom's top tip of the day boys and girls yes Oh, she bubbling. Right. Look, like I say, upside down, cheek, and then flip. I'll show you. I'll show you I'm not capping. 
Look, all the seasoning is at the top. You can thank me later. There. Perfecto. So yeah, I'm gonna stir it and I'll leave it and I'll bring you back when it's ready. Ooh, she's looking ready. Right, let's give the Singapore noodles a try. Very fragrant. Delicious egg noodles in a rich curry sauce. It's not like chip shop curry or like chicken tikka curry, it's like Singapore curry. Obviously that's why it's called Singapore curry. <gasps> It's gone very cold. It is. It is cold tonight. Oh, it's nice there. It's still warm. Like a nice little hand warmer as well. Mm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna definitely get that chicken vegetables, chicken ramen noodle soup on after. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you all for you know what I mean? subscribing and watching. I didn't expect to get over 200 subs already, considering my I uploaded my first video like, what, 11 days ago or something? Over 3k views as well. Like, that's completely blew my mind. And, like, at, at the minute, like, to, the, to, to date, like, now. I've only like released one video, so hopefully that's too bad, is it? So thank you all, thank you to all my American subscribers as well. I know there's some guys from like California and that, so thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to like see anything particular or want to see me go to a certain place or I don't know, just give me some ideas. So I want to know what you guys want to want me to camp or you know what I mean I, like I said I'm going to be doing wild camping as well um, it's just at the time is it's, it's obviously getting the time off with work and stuff like that so but yeah don't worry guys there'll be a lot of a lot of camping and other outdoor stuff so I'm not going to tell you what what else but you will see so I'm going to finish this I'll bring you back when I'm making a chicken noodle soup. Oh my god, that's just gone everywhere with the wind. <laughs> I don't think it's good to inhale chicken noodle soup flavouring. Mmm. Tastes tastes very salty right let's uh, boil 200 mils and I'll see you when it's ready I've just had a really dumb moment I should have used that part to do me a little soup in because I've got to have coffee in this cup so I might be having a Nescaf caramel chicken coffee might be good we'll have to see won't we chicken noodle soup oh so good well we don't know yet it might, might be terrible might be a salty disaster might not even fully dissolve because it's that cold outside might be like nice little sharp shards of carbohydrate going down your throat. Nice. Young laddie. It is team for some chicken noodle soup. I do quite a good Scottish Im Im impression. If I do say so myself. Let me know how I do because I know I've got some 
Scottish subscribers as well. So. Well, it was one of yours. Disgusting. I don't know. I, ca I can't say all words Scottish, like in a Scottish accent. Uh, I can do a really, really good Gollum impression. That is something I actually can do, like, really good. Let, let me know if you, wanna, if you guys want to see me do my Gollum impression. I can actually do Smeagol as well. Um, I don't know why it's only him I can do, it's a bit weird. I'm, I'm not too bad at other accents, but I don't know. Right, let's try this chicken noodle swip. Swip? I can't really show you because I, I don't want to tip it over. Tastes like tastes a bit like ginger. And I got me tiger bread. And it's a cob. It's not a roll. It's not a bap. It's not a I don't know. A bread cake or whatever you call it. It's a cob. From where I'm from, it's called a cop. So, try another guess. It's called a cop. It's called a bacon cop. It's called a chip cop. You don't call it a, a chip roll, do you? You go to the chip shop, you get a chip cop. So, it's called a cop. It's nice because I've compressed the cob. It's not really absorbing much of the um, swoop. So I'll still be able to drink it. What? Well, I'll still chew it a bit because there is still a bit of bits of noodle in. I'm a bit weird like that. I can't. It goes with like yogurts and things like that. I can't just swallow a yogurt I have to chew it even though there's like nothing to it do you know what I mean there's 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 no bits in it like if there's bits in it obviously you chew it but say like a smooth yogurt or a mousse I just have to chew it it's weird it's the same with like milkshake as well I don't know that's that is really weird come to think of it I'm a bit weird though still mmm chicken noodle swoop right I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna eat my bueno. I can't wait for that. I love buenos. They're amazing. Kinder is so good. I love Kinder chocolate. Bring it back to you guys. Mm, a green grasshopper or something. It literally just landed an inch away from my soup. I'm so glad I seen that. Imagine if that would have fell in my soup. Don't be drinking that, do I? The bueno time, boy. Let me know in the comments if you can if you can get these in America. I, I don't know if you can, but they are premium. They're coming. They're coming. Individual crappers. And you just break them off in like a section, and it's like wafer with chocolate. But then I like phone with like I don't know like hazelnut cream or something. Oh, it's just so good. It's so addictive. That's why I just eat them all in one. Mmm. Get like the full experience. Have the full mouth gasm. And then you can think to yourself, I've got another one now. <laughs> Let's go for a little walk around, shall we? Let's go and explore the forest. Let's 
currently seven degrees. It's quarter to ten at night. Relatively chilly. Oh, can't really see anything. Too dark. <laughs> Some rabbit holes. Spooky trees. Oh. God, it's cold. Oh. Hey, up. Some high vis work, man. Back. Hopefully the foxes haven't eaten me cob. I'm gonna have a coffee. I think I'm gonna go to bed to be honest. Still got me cup. Oh yes. Right, I've finished my coffee now. Um, I'm actually going to pack all my stuff away now. I'm going to skip out on breakfast tomorrow because it's going to start chucking it down from about 5 o'clock and it's going to get worse until about 9 o'clock and I want to be gone way before 9 because it's a weekday. There'll be people walking the dogs and stuff on this field. It is quite popular. Um, and even in this wooded bit, they could, like I say, they come through the, the gaps in the fence. So. <laughs> We don't want anyone spotting us, so I'm going to bring you back when I'm in me tent, meat. Oh, Right guys, that's us in the sleeping bag. Oh. God, I'm roasting. Packed all my stuff away, so in the morning I can just put my pad and bag away and then tent away and then get up and go god just getting in this I can already tell like I'm going to be more than like warm tonight it feels like a really like really thick duvet so, seems pretty good so the ear, ear mat as well it was a self inflating I've never had one of them before so it's a lot thinner than my other one than my trekology one so, I'm going to get off to bed now, and I'll bring you back in the morning. Morning guys, it's currently ten past five. I'll tell you, I slept like a baby. This sleeping bag is so warm, when I got in here I could just feel the my body heat radiating instantly. And I only woke up once in the night, and that was really good. Um, I've only had like, like say, five hours sleep, but I, I feel fine. I feel good. I feel refreshed. But I'm gonna get up now because the rain is it's starting to come down quite heavy. Um, but it's only gonna get heavier, so I'm gonna get all packed away, and I'll bring you back. There's a little bit of condensation on the inside of the tent a little bit. 
but it's not too bad. It's got a, a little bit wet, but it's fine. It's, it's hydrophobic material, so it's like water resistant ish. But, yeah. Bring it back soon, guys. Right, guys, that's us all packed away now, then. So, that's me bit of rubbish. She's got everything inside. Didn't have to waste a, a bag this time. But I've left nothing again. It's not like a receipt or something. It's not mine. Oh, I'll take it. I think I moaned out. Oh, why didn't you take it? You should have took it. You could have took it. Alright, I'm taking it, okay. Alright, I'm going to start heading back now. Definitely the right decision to pack up when I did. Because it is, it's chucking it down. And I didn't want to cook beans and then wait for my pans and that to dry and then and then pack everything away so yeah I just got it over with made the right decision so yeah I'll bring you guys back soon oh it's getting muddy now Jesus jump my left one I did Oh, right guys, back on the path, so I've got my cup of shears in my hand, not literally, obviously. <laughs> so guys, that brings us to the end of the video, hope you all enjoyed, thank you for subscribing once again, I'm now at 235 subscribers, so thank you all, thank all the haters as well, gotta love my haters, so keep it up guys, peace. Oh my days, you could say it's a bit muddy now. Just a little bit. Oh, very squelchy. Oh yes, I'm back out. Oh, big bag. There we go, guys. Back to civilization. <laughs>